Janice Atkinson, UKIP MEP for the South East. We understand local ferry companies are proposing to put their prices up in reaction to EU legislation that comes into force in January. What's your reaction? Well, it's going to hit families first and foremost, so it's going to cost an extra £210 to take a family of four from Dover to Calais. It'll also affect business because what will happen is that uh, cars and, and uh, freight will actually go through the Channel Tunnel, which will drive up prices and, and create more pollution. Um, and families will be hit yet again. And for business people going across, one person it's going to cost £50. And everything that comes out of this place is just the law of unintended consequences, and this is one of them. What do you think then? What's your kind of gut feeling about the fact that that's going to happen? Is there anything that can be done about it? Well, not all the time that the laws are made here, because it doesn't affect the Commission over here. They get in their chauffeur-driven cars, which is paid for by the taxpayer. It has no impact on their pockets whatsoever. Um, and if they fly, it, the taxpayer pays for them. It's us that's paying for them, the people back home. So they have no concept of how this is hitting. And don't forget, this is the same people that have driven up fuel bills uh, for, by 150% over the past six years. Again, it's not affecting them. They've got homes that are paid for here. People back in the UK haven't, so we need to come out of this place, we're better off out, and it's our own UK Parliament that can actually make these laws. And when they hit the consumers hard, because this is a consumer-driven law, it's also going to affect businesses as well, then we can actually repeal those laws. We can't repeal the laws. I mean, everything is set in stone in this place, and we, we can't decide on what happens. This law is about reducing sulphur levels. According to the scientists, sulphur reduces sulphur not only has environmental consequences, it's also bad, they say, for human health. There's a logic, isn't there, to this law? Yeah, but if you also look at biomass fuels, the unintended consequences of that it all sounds very good, uh, that it's more greener, but what's happened is that um, third world countries have lost their arable farms and it's driven up prices and we've lost forests. This has got to be thought about properly and not a sort of knee-jerk reaction because um, idealist greenies in this place think it's a good thing. We've got to balance the environment with the consumer and, and what wages, which actually have driven, been driven down 14%, that's our economy, 14% what people have lost in their wages over the past few years. People can't afford the green taxes. There has to be a balance. You say there has to be a balance. How do you make that balance? And what has gone wrong here? Do you accept the need to reduce sulphur levels given that, according to the experts, people's lives are being put at risk? It causes health concerns. It also pollutes the local environment in your constituency. But we should be reducing, we should be talking to the ferry companies and the planes and the cars because, as I've said, there is unintended consequences that comes out this place. We need to be making the laws in our own country. We know what's right for our consumers. We know what's right for our health. And a one size fit doesn't fit all across the EU. We need to take back the laws in our own country and balance the environment with economic consequences. The UK Chamber of Shipping is calling for a delay in this legislation coming into force. It says uh, one solution could be for them to implement new technology on the ships that would clean up uh, the polluting effect of shipping, but it will take several years. Is that something that you support, at least a delay in this legislation coming into force? Yeah, because it's going to happen anyway. If we come out of the EU in two years' time, that's fine. But in the meantime, they should have a delay in actually implementing on this. Because apparently this is going to cost the ferry companies £300 million a year. Now, that's an industry that's actually teetering on the edge. So we may push them over the edge. We may lose those, those jobs down in Dover. And Dover is a, a, an area that um, has... Uh, has high unemployment so therefore and, and there's a knock-on effect it's not just the ferry companies it's all the subsidiary industries that feed into that and, and also over in Calais. Calais has got an unemployment rate of about 18% at the moment so there is a knock-on effect um, so yes it should be phased in they've only had well they've had less than three years to do it and it's an awfully costly costly thing to do. We've heard already that a ferry route uh, earlier this year closed between the UK and Denmark do you fear that the result of this is going to be 
um, more routes closing from your constituency with the implication that that might have on, on local jobs. Yeah, well, that, that, I think clearly that's going to happen. Uh, we've lost the ferry services from Ramsgate, we've lost the ferry services from Folkestone, Eastbourne has been under effect, a, a, a threat as well, so we've got to conserve the jobs and people want to go on the ferry. It's a very pleasant way of travelling. I went over to Cali myself recently and did, uh, and did that. And, um, and also the truck drivers need to actually relax because of the, the, the tachometers. So what we'll see is less routes, and it will cost more to go over there and there will be more congestion on the roads and through the channel tunnel and that's not good for the consumer or business.